The FA Vars final is underway at Wembley. Shippenham Town against Deal Town. An early touch for defender Lee James, but a poor one as he gets it straight to a Deal player. The Kent Club playing a lovely strip of uh, black and white hoops with green numbers. A commentator's nightmare. But we are more interested in the team in pretty much all blue with a hint of white as well. That's Shippenham Town from Harden Ewish Park to Wembley. Blue Army is the cry from the Chippenham fans. They've done their team proud, and the players have done vice versa. In comes the corner, played in towards the back post. Punched away by Chippenham goalkeeper Ian Jones, sporting, as Sean said a moment ago, a yellow shirt this afternoon. There was some talk of him wearing blue, lucky shirts and all of that, but it clashed, I understand, too much with the Chippenham shirts. And the referee this afternoon, Mr David Laws from Northumberland, didn't like it. So many people from all four corners of the county are here, be it Swindon, be it Salisbury, Trowbridge, Warminster, Devizes, Carl, all here today. I've seen uh, Joy Bound, the Westbury United Secretary. Uh, her opposite number from Carl Town, Laurie Drake, is here as well. But um, goalkeeper Ian Jones gets it forward. Long upfield and a long kick. And Godley's going to get into the box here. He's challenged and it's back with Craig Tucker in the deal goal. And that was the first sort of half opportunity for Chippenham Town coming after three and a half minutes the long goal kick from Ian Jones Dave Godley trying to get on the end of it got a touch but so too did the deal defender Lee Burns has got it now plays the ball over the halfway line looking maybe for Brown on the left but uh, couldn't find him and it goes to Lee James for Chippenham in a bit of space on the right hand side plays it down the line for Steve Tweddle to chase he's got a man across to get the tackle in just too far for Steve Tweddle and out it goes for a goal kick to Deal. Deal play a long ball forward. Andrews under there to try and defend. It's going to go back to uh, Ian Jones, a Chippenham keeper, and Lee Burns put it out for a corner. And uh, word exchange there, Sean, between Ian Jones and Lee Burns, and uh, not the best bit of defending. It gives Deal another corner. And they always say that uh, the hope is that teams don't freeze on the big occasion. That hasn't happened to Chippenham yet, but Deal are having much the better of the early play, you'd have to say but uh, perhaps time for Chippenham to calm their nerves and get used to the conditions. Tommy Saunders said the game plan would have to be changed. It's a lot hotter than expected. Corner played in towards the near post. Simon Charity there defending. Five and a half minutes played exactly at Wembley. FA Vars final. Chippenham Town nil. Deal nil. And now Charity is on the attack with help with Treadle. Finds Godley, right-hand side, almost at the edge of the area. Deal player's gone down injured, but the referee plays on. Godley crosses in looking for the head of Treadle. Finds Brown on the turn, gets the shot in. But that's uh, high, wide and handsome. And it's caught by a ball boy in the other end of the gravel area behind the goal, being defended by Craig Tucker. Out on the right-hand side, a few yards into the Chippenham half. Played in towards the edge of the area, headed on. Might fall for Marshall here, looking to get in. Play back out to the left-hand side. In comes the cross, it's blocked by Lee Collier, the Chippenham number 11, the right-hand side of midfield and uh, Seeger can bring it forward again for Deal down the line to find number 10 which is Steve Marshall edge of the area left hand side ball played in low by Kempster Chippenham taking their time to clear Charity Murphy and finally Lee Collier get the ball forward up towards the center circle helped on by Godley to find Steve Tweddle looking to turn his man Steve Brown is charging on the left hand side if he can find him Godley's having support Tweddle finds Brown left hand side edge of the area might get the cross in, might go for goal, plays it in, there's Dave Godley! Took a deflection and back through with the goalkeeper. That was the best chance of the game so far. Dave Godley getting a touch as Steve Brown played it in. Steve Tweddle involved in the move as well, but it took a deflection off of a deal defender. 
free kick to deal, played in towards the edge of the six-yard box, but that's easy pickings for Ian Jones in the Chippenham goal. And he quickly bowls it out to the right-hand side to find Simon Charity, nicknamed Scorch, over the halfway line. Down the line it goes for Godley, who's into the box, right-hand side, plays the ball in, misses Tweddle, in comes Brown, gets the shot in, right ball for Charity, and Godley got the shot in, which was just inches wide. Two chances for Dave Godley in the space of a minute. Great move from Chippenham Town, great attacking. It involved Simon Charity and then Godley. Brown played it in on the left-hand side, fell to Godley, got the shot in, but he went into the side netting from the right-hand side of the area. And uh, mass ranks of blue and white, and they were singing Chippenham Town, come on Chippenham Town a few moments ago, and the customary cry of Blue Army all around that part of the stadium, cheering their team on, and a couple of chances there for Dave Godley, as we mentioned, two for Godley in the space of a minute, but uh, both being missed. The first back to the keeper, the second into the side netting. The Orc come forward now, they created a lot of pressure in the first few minutes, a lot of corners being created, not too much from them in the last few minutes without wanting to put the kiss of death on it as the attack on the right hand side, Simon Charity's across to try and defend, so is Shane Andrews and the latter wins it and Brown then finds Charity who's almost in the centre of the Chippenham half, ball played forward towards Tweddle, he's clattered from behind and it'll be a free kick to the North Wiltshire side in the centre circle. Craig Tucker falling to the ground as the high free kick played in and uh, the keeper grabs hold of that one. Steve Twirl coming forward for Chippenham, number nine. He's, well, he goes to ground, but uh, the referee says it was a fair challenge, but Chippenham get the ball regardless. Charity finds Collier, right-hand side of midfield, holds it up, surveys the options and finds Ian Murphy, the centre-back, happy to go forward to the middle of the deal half. Out to the left, Andrews plays it in, Charity just too high for the Chippenham midfielder. And out it goes for a goal kick to Deal. On the pitch here, Deal attacking down the right-hand side. Cross comes in, Lee James should be under that to get it away. Header is there, Ian Jones claims it on the second attempt. Looked like Steve Lowell and Steve Marshall were both challenging the Chippenham keeper. But it was Ian Jones who managed to grab hold of that, as I say, at the second attempt. But a bit of pressure there from the Kent club, Sean. But uh, Jones again coming out on top. Safe as as is, I think it's a four-year-old daughter, Chelsea's here. She can say Wembley, Wembley, even at her tender young age, and she'll be well pleased with Daddy's performance. It's played in towards the six-yard box, headed away. Shane Andrews back there defending, shot comes in low along the ground. And that was a good save by Ian Jones. A snapshot for the right-hand side for Deal. The Shane Andrews only half cleared it, but good goalkeeping from Ian Jones. Deal coming forward now on the right-hand side. Shane Andrews trying to get back and defend. The ball played in towards the penalty spot. Lee Collier heads it away, and that move breaks down temporarily. But uh, well played Steve Brown, winning the ball in midfield for Chippenham. Coming forward, looking to get over the halfway line. He's got options open, including Simon Charity, and that's where he goes. Left-hand side, forward for Godley. Maybe he just overhit there, but Godley might get onto that. What he got there, but so did Craig Tucker, the deal keeper. Lee Burns plays the ball out on the left-hand side, nearly hit the referee there. Andrews running at the defence, oh, brought down on the edge of the area, a bit of a, a nasty tackle coming in there, Andrews goes down, doesn't look to be in too much pain but isn't uh, very happy, and the man with the golden boots as he was once known, one of the quickest physios in the league, Steve Lodge, comes on to give Shane Andrews treatment, 32 minutes played at Wembley, free kick to Chippenham, Simon Charity is over, over it and so is Lee Collier. One, two, three men in the deal of war. Charity leaves it for Collier, who plays it in, gets a touch, it's cleared. Michael for Charity, who puts it high and wide and into the gravel behind the goal, nearly hits one of the cameras behind there. Godley for Chippenham, finds Tweddle on the right-hand side. Woods is in support, he finds Collier, Woods calling for it, he wants it. Collier doesn't want to play it to him, plays it into the box, looking for Brown maybe, but it's headed away and Deal can bring it forward. Jamie Campster, the number two for Deal, doing the defending. But they've lost it now. Brown plays the ball in low and is put out for a corner. It's a chip on them. 34 minutes played at Wembley. Lee Collier plays it in. Burns is in there. It's going to fall for Shane Andrews. Right-hand side of the area. Plays it in just too high for Lee James. And that it goes for a goal kick to Deal. Chippenham looking to come forward. Dave Godley out to the left-hand side. Finds Charity. Brown gets the cross in. Takes a deflection. And it goes for a corner to the Bluebirds. What a time to score a goal now, right before half-time. 
Chippen and free kick from the left hand side played here looking for Godley and maybe James but is back with Tucker, Craig Tucker in the Dior goal and uh, Tucker's luck there managing to uh, grab hold of that one and clears it long up the field. Chippen and won the ball on the right hand side, Godley's got it, finds John Woods, level the 18 yard box on the right and there's the half time whistle. It's 0-0 at Wembley after the first 45 minutes in the FA Vars final. Chippenham Town nil, Dior nil. Who would have thought from uh, then on in, Chippenham Town getting to Wembley. They've kicked off for the second half, and Dior immediately trying to get the ball forward, but Godley's in there defending. And an early attack for Chippenham. Steve Brand on the left-hand side. Again, it takes two to tackle, and the Kent club clear their lines, and the ball goes out for a throw to Chippenham. Five minutes played in the second half at Wembley. It's still Chippenham Town nil, a deal nil in the FA Vars final. Yeah, nine, ten thousand fans coming up from uh, pretty much all parts of Wiltshire today. Coming on the team coach, we pass buses from Devizes, also Warminster and Calm, and also further afield like Bristol and Gloucester as well. Deal coming forward now on the pitch. Ball played in low along the ground. Ian Jones picks up that and quickly throws out to find Shane Andrews. Ian Jones banned all talk of the FA Vars before the semi-final at home. And in his job, he's an engineer in the Bristol area. Hails from uh, Yates, that's where he's living at the moment. Uh, now he's happy to talk about it and the trip to Wembley. He's got family here. Uh, of course, talk to Chelsea in amongst the crowd. At the other end, Chippenham attacking. Tweddle trying to get into the box. Trying to hold off the challenge, but in the end, he'll get it clear. Steve Brown in there as well. And it goes out for a goal kick to the Kent club. Later score is 0-0 with 11 minutes played in the second half of the FA Vars final at Wembley. Throw taken by James, headed away by Dill on the left-hand side for them. Only as far as Ian Murphy, the scouser, as he's known in the team. Out to the left-hand side now for Shane Andrews, looking to come forward. He's got Steve Brown right out the left-hand touchline, if you can find him. Instead, goes into the box, looking maybe for Charity in there. It's going to fall, is it for Collier? And Woods in there. Got a sort of a snapshot there, getting the ball into the box, but Deal get it clear, and the Kent club will play the ball over the halfway line, you would imagine now. Yes, they do, but only as far as Lee James, and he retrieves it for Chippenham. Chippenham head it forward and get it clear. It's in the centre circle, comes out of Lee Burns, the captain, chests it down, looking for Steve Brown now on the left-hand side, the former Khan and Larkor man. Brown, what will he do? Will he hold it up for charity? Will he take on his man? Will he? He's gone for the latter. He's passed one. He's passed a couple. But in the end, the ball runs out of play for a goal kick to deal. It's nil-nil after 13 minutes of the second half at Wembley. As Mark Cutler now warms up without a tracksuit top down the uh, the right-hand side as we have, we look at it. The right-hand side for Deal attacking, and he gets the crowd going. And chance of Cutler come up from the crowd. Throw to Chippenham, taken by Shane Andrews. Gets into the box, Steve Brown's in there, Simon Charity can't get hold of it, and it's cleared up towards the centre circle. A few minutes ago, um, whilst we're hearing from Murray and talking about everything's going on as well, uh, the ball was put in the back of the net, uh, rather arrogantly by uh, Deal. The uh, whistle had been blown a long, long time ago, but it's still the ironic cheers uh, coming up from the Deal supporters as the ball was put into the back of the net, but uh, no goal. And we knew about that a long, long way ahead, but uh, the chat wanted to put it in and uh, save at the moment. Come on, you bluebirds. Is taken by Murphy, deep, looking for Lee Burns, maybe in there. Burns heads it on towards goal, but it's read into the hands of Craig Tucker, who clears long upfield. Paul Ribbons will take it, a long throw from him, headed up into the air. Burns in there defending, he gets a touch, not away yet. Shot comes in, is charged down by Simon Charity. Half-hearted appeals from the Deal fans, and some of the squad players sat in front of us uh, for a penalty there, but not given by the ref. Here, chipping them, attacking, ball played in, Michael for Steve Brown, gets a shot, oh, it's a weak one, easily saved by Tucker, oh my, oh my, Brown in a lot of space from, what, six, eight yards out, really should have done a better job with that, it was saved easily by Tucker. Twirl now plays the ball out to the right-hand side. The move continues. Come on, Chippenham. Lee Collier's got it on the right-hand side. Level the 18-yard box. Woods is in support. In comes the cross. Brown's in at the back post with a header. And that's straight back with Tucker. Sean, Steve Brown really should have buried that then to put Chippenham Town in front. Yeah, in fairness, I think uh, he was trying to watch the flight of the ball and the keeper to see if he had time to bring it under control or whether he's just smashed it on the volley. Murray, it would have... Uh, well, if it had gone through the net, it would have hit you. 
well if he'd connected properly but he certainly didn't connect properly with that and as you say I think I uh, should just decide to blast it really but uh, took too much time and uh, really that's the best chance they've had and it's been wasted which is a real shame because uh, there haven't been that many chances in this game they're going to be few and far between and maybe we're after all our uh, expectations of goals galore it might just be one that settles this match with what about 15 minutes left that certainly is the best chance that either team have had so far right in front of the tunnel right in front of the deal supporters right in front of me but uh, Woods not making the most of it and uh, really let's hope uh, he gets a second chance to make up for that here at Wembley it's still goalless and there's going to be a change and it's going to be that man Mark Cutler who's coming on going to get some cheers and shouts from the Chippenham supporters Mark Cutler is going to replace Dave Godley so it's 10 for 16 Mark Cutler coming on up front Dave Godley going off a round of applause for the former Sirencester man Godley Mark Cutler and the bench leading the applause Godley maybe going to put Chippenham in front in the first half he salutes the supporters most of whom are on their feet giving him a round of applause and well deserved as well he's a hard-working player shakes hands with manager Tommy Saunders and coach Colin Bush and the physios and the subs he's done his bit this afternoon and now Mark Cutler has come on he came on as a sub of course against Vauxhall in the semi-final second leg at Harden Newish Parkham you all know what happened next he scored the goal to put Chippenham Town through to Wembley can he do the same this afternoon let's hope so Andrews takes a throw on the left hand side Brown gives it back to him. Andrews plays the ball in, looking for Cutler, nearly getting his first touch. Falls to Woods. And Collier takes over, chips it in. Here's Cutler at the back post, takes it down. Cutler plays the ball in, nobody there to get a touch. Tweddle picks it up now. Right hand side, almost on the touch line, gets the cross in. And out it goes for a goal kick. Well, and I can see Dave Godley and also Mickey uh, Godwin and also Tony Godwin, the kit manager. Uh, getting the Chippenham Town fans to start cheering and that's a Blue Army cry again. They're watching their team come forward. Mark Cutler on the left-hand side. Backtracks to find Shane Andrews, the left-back. Cuts inwards almost, then plays the ball towards the edge of the area. Charity shoots over the top of the crossbar. Free kick to the Bluebirds. Murphy takes it quick, in low. Finds Steve Brown in space in the box. Cutler's in there as well. Was he brought down? No, says the referee. And Deal get it clear. And that had Bedlington away, written all over it, quickly taken by Ian Murphy, finding Steve Brown in the box, but he was in there, so was Cutler. All the shots that came in got deflected, and they'll get it clear. And now the attack on the left-hand side, the cross comes in, but Simon Charity should see that one away. Well, and the attack now on the right-hand side. Can Tweddle beat Tucker to the ball? No, he can't. The deal keeper clears it into the empty seats on the far side of the ground from us it's the right hand side as Chippenham attack they're going towards the tunnel the throw in's taken it finds Lee James shaven head where's two for the Bluebirds plays the ball into the box looking for Brown but it's headed away on the edge of the deal area and the Kent club are now let's come forward Marshall involved there long ball played over the halfway line but Shane Andrews picks it up Murphy and Burns looking after things and Andrews can swap flanks and finds Lee James on the right hand side again back it goes to Murphy Chippenham Town happy to play the ball around at the moment now the look for Tweddle on the right hand side he's almost down by the corner flag with the deal defender battling away as Tweddle and who did that last come off well it was Tweddle according to the referee's assistant 38 minutes played at Wembley seven to go in normal time we're heading towards it would seem extra time and penalties it's nil nil at Wembley no penalties yet for Chippenham Town on the road to Wembley nor have they ever been behind they've all the games they've drawn they've even in those matches never been behind always winning always level as they get a shot in but it takes a deflection uh, never been behind and uh, so far not behind today now Shane Andrews has gone down again at one stage there there were three Chippenham Town players down and the only one left down is Shane Andrews and again Steve Lodge comes running on as more drinks are given to the players Shane Andrews the number three who had some treatment then but is uh, thankfully okay again and back on his feet he comes from Marshfield and more than a hundred have come up from that particular place as Deal come forward the ball's played into the box and great defending there at the death from the Chippenham captain Lee Burns leading by example to put the ball out for a corner to Deal who begins to get a bit more of an edge on this game with these, uh, these set pieces and these balls into the box and these corners and the Chippenham Town move is broken down and now Marshall can bring it forward for Dill on the right hand side he's gone past Burns, he plays it in, James misses it oh I don't believe it, Dill have taken the lead with only three minutes on the clock it was an absolutely cracking finish 
Steve Marshall did the work down the right-hand side. The goal scorer's shirt has now come off. He's looking towards the fans. It's a massive black and white all celebrating that goal. Deal Town have possibly broken the hearts of all the Chippenham Town supporters with just three minutes to go. The shot on the volley beat Ian Jones and into the back of the net. Surely not. No, not at this late stage. Surely Deal Town can't have got the goal which will win the game. The shirt was taken off, can't see the number. Frankly, I couldn't care less who scored. As Chippenham Town come forward again looking for that equaliser. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Manager Tommy Saunders said there would be tears at the end, no matter who won. It could be tears of sadness at the moment. Oh dear. Chippenham coming forward now. Andrews plays the ball into the box. Tucker gets the punch. It'll fall to John Woods. Out on the right-hand side, plays the ball in too far for Cutler, too far for Brown. And out it goes for a goal kick to Deal. So, Roly Graham got that goal. He's the man that's possibly broken the hearts of Chippenham Town fans. With only three minutes to go, Sean, what can we say? Well, they, you said they had a bit more of an edge to their play. Deal were enjoying a late rally, and in fairness, he had an awful lot of space, Graham, to smash in the cross as Chippenham pulled forward for the winner themselves. It's gut-wrenching and it's heartbreaking. Uh, Murray Collins, we'll add some more adjectives onto that one. Well, I was just starting to think that Deal were beginning to look a strong side. They were beginning to put a few passes together. They are beginning to create a little bit of space. And uh, while Chippenham would keep bashing away, it was Deal who were just starting to show signs of a sense of urgency, whereas maybe Chippenham started to be thinking, well, extra time could be looming up uh, despite Cutler's runs, despite Tweedle's runs. In fact, it's Lee Burns at the front now. So he's leading, from example, from the front as uh, now Chippenham come forward and see if they can grab a equaliser late in this game. Burns plays the cross and looking for Twirdle, headed away, Michael for Collier, drives it in, oh, and it's just over the top of the crossbar from Lee Collier. That could have been a fantastic equaliser right at the end. Burns, as you say, has gone forward. The centre-back, the captain, leading from example. 35, 25 now seconds left of normal time at Wembley as Lee James goes off for Chippenham and Nick Tiley comes on. It's throw everything forward. Absolutely nothing to lose in this match. You might as well lose 2-0 and try and grab a late equaliser. So Lee Burns uh, gone forward then. He's now back in his defensive role, but Steve Brown has gone up there. Nick Tiley comes on and he's playing on the left-hand side. Come on, Chippenham. Andrews plays the ball forward, looking for Cutler, takes it on his chest. He's got support. He finds Charity almost on the edge of the area. But Deal defending as we go into injury time here at Wembley. Deal leading. Three minutes of injury time to be played. The board has been held up by the fourth official, Mr Pugh from Cheshire. Three minutes for Chippenham Town to salvage something. Steve Brown has gone off. Mickey Godwin's come on. He's wearing 12. Brown sporting seven and now well does even sit down stands alongside Lee James forward it goes looking for Tweddle to chase he can't get it but Tali picks it up come on you bluebirds Tali running at the deal defense plays it out to the right hand side chance here maybe referee free kick surely oh the ball's played forward deal get it clear I think it could be full time any moment now the ref looks at his watch oh dear oh dear oh dear there is full time. Chippenham Town have lost at Wembley in the final of the FA Bars to Deal Town by a late, late goal. Roly Graham with a fantastic strike with just three minutes to go has broken the hearts of the Harden Newish Park heroes, reporting on defeat for Chippenham Town. Well, it seemed like a dream that they got here. So much work, so much preparation behind the scenes at the club to sell tickets and to get the supporters here. It hasn't counted for nothing. They've had a great day, but they've lost by a late, late goal. Oh dear, there'll still be a heck of a party tonight, but it won't be in Chippenham Town Centre. It'll be on the coast of Kent. The final score at Wembley is Chippenham Town nil, deal one. Captain Lee Burns leads the way and a team of heroes as they've been all season. Let's not forget that they've done Chippenham Town, they've done Wiltshire proud, and they're applauding both sets of supporters. You can see Lee James there and Simon Charity, Ian Murphy, goalkeeper, 
Ian Jones, the Deal fan shaking the hands of Chippenham midfielder John Woods. Good sportsmanship there. The officials have been at the referees. Now it's the Chippenham Town players who are getting their loser's medal. I can see manager Tommy Saunders towards the back of the party. And what a shame. We thought we might be saying Lee Burns lifts the FA Vars, but uh, not to be this afternoon. It's loser's medals for the Bluebirds, but there are no way losers in our hearts. Those players are fantastic. Well, Tommy Saunders talked about their tears. Uh, win or lose, sadly, it's the latter. Now is perhaps the wrong time to talk about his future, but uh, Chippenham will certainly have a great future because, let's face it, Ian, last summer, this was uh, never even considered. It was just a question of consolidating and perhaps uh, moving up through the football pyramid at the top of the Screwfix Direct. Well, Chippenham chairman Malcolm Lyers told me, has told me so many times over the last few weeks, this is the start of something big. Chippenham Town will be looking to get into the Dot Martins League. That'll be the aim next season. And if you know somebody who's in amongst the crowd, if you've got a friend or a relative, tell them, for goodness sake, come back next season. Be it for the FA Vars, the FA Cup, the Wiltshire Premier Shield, the league games as well. Just come back and support Chippenham Town because they need your local support. Let's boost the crowd. Let's get into the Dot Martins Premier as the Dior players now come up. The FA Vars will be uh, presented to Terry Martin. And there's the crowd cheering as Dior Town lift the FA Vars. Fair play to the team. They've done well to get here. They've won by a late, late goal. But when you are a Chippenham Town boy, you live in the area, you've lived there all your life. And you've been a fan of Chippenham Town for more than a decade. And you are the local football reporter for Wiltshire. It is very, very hard to take to watch another team lift the FA Vars and then pass it down the line. Chippenham Town have done themselves proud. Well, Tom, obviously uh, hugely disappointed. Yeah, um, words really fail me at the minute. I thought it was heading for extra time. It was in the back of my mind they were coming on quite strong. I was just going to try and see out to them, put a couple of the substitutes on. And then that's just unleashed that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, a wonderful goal that probably deserved to win any cup final. But I'm, yeah, very sad. Yeah, it was a, a beacon of light in a, in a bit of, of a dull afternoon. Yeah, but most most finals, as you know, Joe, are like that. And uh, Dave Godley, unfortunately, has missed two very, very good chances in the first half that I think he should have done much better with. And uh, I've got to say, it possibly cost us to Varsin and Steve Brown missed a sitter in the second half. So what can you say? On the positive side, though, you're, you're the manager, the youngest manager ever, as we know. What was that like as you came uh, out of the tunnel? Oh, blow me. He just couldn't buy moments like that. It's, it's been brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And when you've picked up your loser's medal, and there's so many people saying you've done us proud, and it does make you feel quite important. And you're there, and probably in front of 12 or 13,000 Chittenden fans, it's, um, it's very warm. And they all stayed behind afterwards to give us a clap. They weren't running out the door, which, which you know, I would have been disappointed with. And I just hope and pray a few of them turn out on the streets tomorrow and uh, applaud us back in because it's going to be a bit disappointing if they don't. <laughs> Obviously, very disappointed. Disappointed, but extremely proud. I mean, you look around that crowd, there was 10, 12, 15,000 Chippenham people there. The lads give it everything they had, just wasn't quite enough on the day. We had enough chances, we didn't put the ball away. And what a great goal to win it on. Fantastic. Yeah, it was some goal, wasn't it? Well, tremendous goal. I mean, I, I just wish it had been one of our lads, but uh, we had a lot simpler chances than that. And it, I believe a lot in fate, it just wasn't going to be our day. Uh, the longer it went on, you could see what was going to happen. It was going to be decided by the odd goal. Unfortunately for us, it wasn't ours. But importantly for you, I suppose, obviously you'd like to win, but the fact that Chippenham is now on the map as a, as a football team is the most important thing for a chairman. Uh, the important thing for me that this isn't the end of the story, this is the start of the story, and we've got to go on next season and build and try and get into the Dr Martins and hopefully come back here again next year and have a real go and try and win it this time. So how much money have you made from uh, this occasion? We don't honestly know. I mean, there's been rumours up to 100,000. I would have thought it'd be nearer 40 to 50. Right, and that'll go on to ground improvements, will it? No, it's gone on my holiday. Yeah, <laughs> no, seriously, it's going, going on to ground improvements. The ground will be ready for Dr. Martins next year. Um, and hopefully, there might be a little bit over to have a. As you can see today, we need a centre forward. We need someone to help them up front. 